Hello, welcome to the video on graphing polynomial functions. This is our second example set, example set B. And what we're going to be doing here is finding the graph or matching the graph that we're given four choices to these respective polynomials. And because we only have four different choices, um, we are going to you know, use a basic process of elimination to answer you know, uh, this question, this exercise here. And I don't want to make it make it overly complex, but I do want to focus in on the degree okay, of these polynomials and specifically whether they're even or odd. So the highest power here, for example, x to the fourth is even. And then I have another even polynomial over here. And then right here, our second polynomial is uh, a negative x to the fifth, but I'm focusing in on the highest power. Okay, so that's odd. Okay, it's five, and here I have another odd power. So I have even and even, it's just kind of a sign here, or distinguish these polynomials by odd or even. And then here I have odd and odd. All right, so a quick review. Let's look at a basic even polynomial. The most basic you probably can think of is y equals x squared. Okay, now y equals x squared is a parabola. And all even polynomials, the graphs, are going to have some sort of U-shape to them. So y equals x squared graph is a perfect kind of parabola. Okay, so it's some sort of U-shape. Now, whether it's y equals x to the 4th or x to the 6th or x to the 60th, whatever the case is, and, of course, all these additional terms in the polynomial are going to have an effect on a graph, but generally speaking, it's going to have some sort of U-type shape to them. may not be exactly symmetrical, and there's all kinds of variation to them, but that's kind of a general clue um, of what the graph is going to look like. Now, that's y equals x squared. What happens when we put a negative sign in front of that x squared? So we get y equals negative x squared. All right? So anytime we put a negative sign in front of that uh, leading term, Okay, what happens is you're going to flip it across the x-axis. So essentially what's going to happen is this. Okay, so this is y equals negative x squared, and this is y equals x squared. All right, so once again, all your even polynomials will have some sort of basic uh, u-shaped function, like a so, uh, u-shaped graph, excuse me, and if you have a negative, even polynomial function is going to be kind of flipped across the x-axis. All right, so let's go ahead with that knowledge right now. Let's answer a couple questions about what we have. Okay, we talked about the even polynomials. So let's look at graph A and B. They're the only ones that have a U-shape to them. And you can see here right off, um, right off the bat that you should be able to answer this uh, with relative ease. All right. If we look at the first polynomial, x to the fourth, it's positive and it's even, so it's going to have an upward u to it. And the only one that has that is graph b. So we'll put b over here. And then likewise, if we look at this third polynomial, negative x to the fourth plus x plus six, it's also even, but it has this negative sign in front of it. So that means that basic u shape is going to be flipped somehow across the x axis. Now, notice that one. You know, these parabolas or these shapes are, you know, they don't bounce off the x-axis. They're, they're, you know, they're the vertex, if you will, can be all over the place or where they're, where they're turning. That's not what, I don't want to get too far, too involved into you know, the specifics of each graph. I'm, what I'm trying to do is just give you general characteristics here. But we can see that A is the only one that would fit what we're talking about. Okay, a basic U shape that's flipped upside down would work for this third polynomial. All right, so that means that graphs C and D are going to match up to our odd polynomials here. And now let's just do the same thing, but this time we'll use y equals x cubed as our basic odd polynomial situation. And what happens is here is your basic odd polynomial is going to be something like this. All right, some sort of curve, double curve shape, you know, it kind of does a little turn and it goes up. And if we have a 
y equals negative x cubed situation, once again, it gets flipped across an x-axis, so it's going to be like so. All right? Very, very general, very basic, um, you know, characteristics here. But all we that's all we need because we have only four choices. So knowing that, let's key in on these last two graphs. So here you can see that graph C is the only one that has that, uh, you know, that's even remotely close to that basic y equals x cubed situation. Now, of course, it doesn't look anything like, you know, exactly like that y cubed situation because it goes up and it dips down and back up. But it's close enough where we can eliminate graph D from it. So graph C will fit nicely here with this choice. And then, of course, this other odd polynomial, graph D, is kind of doing, oops, that's pretty bad graph. It's kind of doing the reverse of that y equals x cubed. It's kind of doing this. All right. So we'll assign graph D up here to this polynomial. So the idea here is just to have um, a familiarization of the characteristics and how different polynomials are going to distinguish one another. Graphing polynomials are is absolutely key. It's a key skill. And by the way, if you do have that graphing calculator, you definitely want to learn how to use it and practice it. So if you use it in this exercise to help you answer the questions, then, you know, more power to you. However, you know, I don't want you just to blindly use your, your, your calculator and not know what's going on. You really want to understand why these shapes are kind of taking form. All right. Okay, so keep working hard. Good luck and hope to see you soon.